So guys, now that we are here at Start Spring I.O., the Spring Initializer, let's start creating our application. So resuming, we have here, in terms of dependencies, we have here uh, Spring Web, we have the Lombok, we have the Spring Cloud Stream dependency, we have the Spring Data JPA, which we are going to use also, uh, MySQL driver. So let's generate our project and I will be back. So guys, now that we have here our project, I will be adding more dependencies and configurations, okay? In order to make it very fast, I will just copy from a old project some dependencies and for example, the plugins, and I will paste in our new project. Just for example, like here, I will just replace it with this one, which has now the map struct. We are going to use the map struct project in order to very fast, okay, map our, for example, uh, DTOs into domain models or something like that. So that's the reason I'm using here the map struct. So the next thing that we need to do is to add the map struct dependency. For now, let me just go here and let's create here, for example, version, the dependency version of the, the, the map struct. And then let me just use here, for example, the dependency of map struct in the end of our project. So the version, it should pick the map struct version. So let's just, for example, load our project. It got the dependency, the map struct dependency. And yeah, that's all. So the next thing that we need to do here, for example, is to add our uh, data source configuration. Spring data source URL um, and use also the driver, the class name of the driver for MySQL. And that's all. This is our Spring uh, in our application property. For now, we just have the data source configuration. So which configurations do we need for Spring Cloud Stream? So uh, for Spring Cloud Stream, as we saw the Spring Cloud Stream, we have uh, different binders, for example, uh, Apache Kafka, we have RabbitMQ and so on. So in order to start creating our uh, event-driven microservice using the publish subscribe pattern, we need to use in our case, okay, in our example, we, we need to use the Spring Cloud Stream for Apache Kafka. This is the one that we need here. Let me just try to download the dependency. It's here already. So now that we have the Spring Cloud Stream Kafka, you have to take care about this because we are going to use Apache Kafka. 